Roads have made it possible for humans to access almost every region on Earth, but this comes at a very high cost to the planet's natural world. Roads severely reduce the ability of ecosystems to function effectively and to provide us with vital services for our survival. Despite substantial efforts to conserve the world's natural heritage, large tracts of valuable roadless areas remain unprotected. The study shows that the United Nations Sustainability Agenda fails to recognise the relevance of roadless areas in meeting its goals. Roads introduce many problems to nature. For instance, they interrupt gene flow in animal populations, facilitate the spread of pests and diseases, and increase soil erosion and the contamination of rivers and wetlands. Then there is the free movement of people made possible by road development in previously remote areas, which has opened the landscape up to problems such as illegal logging and poaching. The most detrimental effect of roads is what we have termed contagious development. It means that roads facilitate uh, access to previously remote and undisturbed areas, and then promoting a cascade of negative effects like urbanization, land use uses, and extraction and overexploitation of natural resources. We have produced a global map of roadless areas, and this map shows that Earth's landscapes are shattered into more than 600,000 fragments. We used a huge data set of 36 million of kilometers of roads and, uh, pr for producing this map. The study has been a joint effort of a team of 10 scientists coming from six countries and we are all members of the Roadless Initiative of the Society for Conservation Biology. Our global map provides guidance on the location of the most valuable roadless areas. In many cases, they represent remaining tracks of extensive functional ecosystems and are of key significance to many ecological processes, such as regulating the hydrological cycle and the climate. This was the best available data source um, to create a global map for roadless areas, although we knew the data is incomplete. Roadless areas are still overestimated and many of them are reduced in size. The study goes on to show that the United Nations Agenda for Sustainable Development, brought into force in 2015 and now referred to as the Sustainable Development Goals, presents conflicts of interest between the aims to generate economic growth and to safeguard biodiversity. On the one hand, some goals do actually threaten the remaining roadless areas, whilst on the other hand, limiting road expansion into roadless areas could be the most cost-effective way to achieve those sustainable development goals that relate to preserving their natural heritage. The UN Convention on Biological Diversity just held its conference of the parties in Cancun, Mexico. Its strategic plan is represented by the so-called IG biodiversity targets. The science study shows how this conservation plan ignores the need for safeguarding roadless areas. As roads continue to expand, there is an urgent need for a global strategy for the effective conservation, restoration and monitoring of roadless areas and the ecosystems they represent. We urge governments to prioritize the extensive remaining roadless areas and avoid altogether the construction of new roads in these areas.